First, they smuggled horse meat into the meat supply. Then came the mysterious pink slime. Now we've got evidence of human meat in the food supply. The elite are determined to strip us of nourishing traditional meat sources and instead force feed us bugs, crickets, and even more disturbing alternatives like feces and human meat. Their agenda is becoming clearer by the day. Before we dive in, join the People's Voice Locals community if you haven't already and sign up to become a member of the world's first ever cyber nation that truly believes in life, liberty, and the pursuit of your dreams. Visit joson.com and click the join us button today. It's completely free. Allegations of tainted meat in the supply chain of one of the world's largest fast food chains just won't disappear. And it's no surprise, given that McDonald's partnered with globalist eugenicist Bill Gates to supply key ingredients for their frankenfoods. Gates snapped up an unprecedented amount of US farmland in recent years, becoming America's biggest landowner and providing McDonald's with the potatoes for their French fries. And the recent newsworthy divorce has created a new pocket of transparency regarding one very particular ingredient source for mega chain McDonald's. And it all ties back to the ubiquitous business figure, Bill Gates. Since the news of Bill and Melinda Gates' split was made public, it's easily become one of the biggest divorces ever. That's the sort of thing to expect when the fourth richest man in the world, worth $145 billion, splits from his wife of 27 years. One of the more interesting aspects to the divorce, which became official on August 2nd, 2021, is that we all got a closer look at the assets up for grabs. And Business Insider reports, we now know that Bill Gates isn't just a technology mogul. He's also an incredibly successful potato farmer. Gates owns farmland in several states that grow soybeans, corn, cotton, and rice. If you're eating carrots for dinner tonight, there's a good chance it came from his farm in Florida. But it's Gates' farmland in Washington state that's drawing the most attention. NBC reports that the plot is so large, it's visible from space. It's here that potatoes are grown, and these spuds supply the fast food chain McDonald's, where they're turned into hot, salty, and perpetually popular french fries. In 2018, Inc. reported that McDonald's buys 3.4 billion pounds of potatoes per year globally and serves over 9 million pounds of fries daily. They're the biggest potato buyers in the world, according to Taste of Home. Why was Gates, the man who vowed to depopulate the world, so laser-focused on partnering with McDonald's on their popular French fries? For the record, we're talking about the same French fries that have been found to contain 19 dangerous ingredients and more cancer-causing chemicals than a packet of cigarettes. Which is worse? This pack of Marlboro Reds or this French fries from McDonald's? I'm a board certified MD and you're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. Acrolein is a toxic substance known to be in the gaseous form of cigarette smoke, also known to cause cancer by harming your DNA metabolic pathways. You're not going to believe that this package of French fries has more acrolein in it than this package of smokes. Acrolein is a toxic substance. You must avoid it. You should not be feeding your children or yourself McDonald's french fries. These french fries contain more than a hundred cigarettes full of acrolein. Why am I telling you this? Because people need to know. If you think that's disturbing, wait till you learn about the scandal that just won't go away. According to credible estimates, McDonald's Corporation has spent upwards of $100 million and counting on legal fees, attempting to brush this scandal under the carpet. And yet, the controversy continues to grow as investigators uncover further evidence of impropriety. It gets even worse when you understand the FBI uncovered a shocking scandal, allegedly involving human remains found at a Detroit business, linked to McDonald's supposedly 100% beef patty supply. We predicted this a long time ago, and now it's the future. Let's take a look. It gets even worse still when you understand the human remains were allegedly the remains of young children. And Jim, is this part of that investigation? Is that winding down at all yet? It is indeed, Jeff. Take a live look behind me. This is what's left of the FBI evidence recovery team inside this car. And take a look at this vehicle. We believe this is the owner of the business just returning to take back possession of his business. More on that in a second. But take a look. Another busy day out here on Detroit's east side, just down the road from City Airport. Sources say they have removed several boxes of what is believed to be human remains. Sources say many, many people people. This was a big operation. And get this, inside this business, a saw used to cut up bodies, it is believed. All taken away as evidence to the Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office where it will be tested. This business is known as International Biological. It advertised as a medical educational service provider. The owner is Art Rathburn. He has a mortician license, has had in Michigan since 1982, 
But the big question is, did he get human bodies illegally? And was he selling them illegally? Just moments ago, the owner, we believe, showed up. I tried to ask him some questions. Mr. Rathburn, will you talk with us? What do you have to hide, sir? Now, sources tell me the FBI is not out here on a fishing expedition. Mr. Rathburn is not charged with any crime. He is not in custody. They did search his house in Gross Point Park on Wednesday as well. How could he get bodies that are not donated to science? This is shocking to the funeral home industry in Metro Detroit. We're going to have more on that part of this story next hour at 6. Jeff, Carolyn. Well, Jim, obviously some extensive evidence gathering there. Are we just at the tip of the iceberg on this investigation, you think? Could very well, and we're not clear on how long it's going to take to do the testing of what is believed human remains. But get this, you had a death in your, in your family, you thought there was a burial or a cremation, and then you find out the body ended up here. Shocking, to say the least. Certainly so. A lot of questions remain tonight, Jim. Thank you. This is not a simple case of spoiled meat or unhygienic conditions. This is something far more sinister and disturbing. Since 2015, children's teeth have been found in McDonald's sausages, potatoes and pancakes in various Japanese cities. In 2018, children's teeth were found in a sausage muffin. At the time, McDonald's Japan held a press conference, though did not mention the causes of the human remains that were traced to children's teeth. They confirmed the meat came from their headquarters in the US and they even tried to shift responsibility onto their customers. We shouldn't be surprised. The global elite thrive on mocking and degrading humanity. By contaminating the food supply with children's remains, they're subjecting us to a massive Illuminati humiliation ritual, an act of degradation on an epic scale with disastrous consequences for our health. We've got the details after this important word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is AffordableRxStore.com. Big Pharma, in collusion with the Biden-Harris regime, have purposefully caused the price of medicines to skyrocket in America. Effective, affordable medicines that actually work are deliberately hidden from the public because they really don't want you to be healthy. That's why I've partnered with AffordableRxStore.com. Their FDA-approved medicines, including ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine, and fenbendazole, are high-quality generics meaning customers can save a whopping 70% compared to their brand name counterparts. Viewers of this channel are being offered 10% off their first order by using the coupon code TPV10 at the checkout. AffordableRxStore.com provides really fast and discreet shipping. Please click the link below this video or visit AffordableRxStore.com and use coupon code TPV10 at the checkout for a 10% discount on your order. McDonald's Corporation, the world's leading dealer of GMOs and frankenfoods, have been deceiving the public about what's really on their menu for decades, as they continued using pink slime to make their beef patties. A combination of ammonium hydroxide and the cutoffs of beef, usually sold only as highly processed dog food, pink slime is just one of the mystery ingredients served up to the public by McDonald's Corporation. British celebrity chef Jamie Oliver exposed the scandal on his TV show Jamie's Food Revolution. Okay, this is not fit for human consumption. Why Celebrity consumption chef and food activist Jamie Oliver is a man on a mission to stop the use of what he calls pink slime. Beef scraps no one would choose to eat, reprocessed and repurposed for use in hamburger patties. We're taking a product that would be sold at the cheapest form for dogs. And after this process, we can give it to humans. The first salvo in his high-profile food fight, this stomach-turning demonstration on his TV show, Food Revolution, nine months ago. We're going to wash these lean bits of beef in a water and ammonia solution. Ammonium hydroxide, to be exact, to kill off bacteria. It's all FDA approved. This is a practice that is openly sort of admitted to being in at least 70% of ground beef products. That kind of puts it everywhere. Well, not everywhere. Last week, McDonald's announced it's no longer using the controversial beef. In a corporate statement, McDonald's said the decision was not related to any particular event. Still, Oliver said he's thrilled. There is just one problem. As soon as the scandal blew over, McDonald's started using the pink slime again. Can we trust them about anything they say? 
Gerald Zernstein grinds his own hamburger these days. Why? Because this former USDA scientist, now whistleblower, knows that 70% of the ground beef we buy at the supermarket contains something he calls pink slime. Beef trimmings that were once used only in dog food and cooking oil, now sprayed with ammonia to make them safe to eat, and then added to most ground beef as a cheaper filler. It was Zernstein who, in a USDA memo, first coined the term pink slime, and is now coming forward to say he won't buy it. It's economic fraud. It's not, it's not uh, fresh ground beef. It's a, substitute, it's a cheap substitute being added in. Zernstein and his fellow USDA scientist Carl Custer both warned against using what the industry calls lean, finely textured beef and is widely known now as pink slime. But their government bosses overruled them. Why didn't you consider it beef? Because it was a salvage product. Leftovers. Fat that had been heated at low temperature and the excess fat spun out. Here's how it's done. Those waste trimmings are gathered, simmered at low heat to make it easier to separate fat from muscle, put in a centrifuge and spun to finish the separation. Next, the mixture is sent through pipes where it's sprayed with ammonia gas to kill bacteria and finally compressed into bricks and flash frozen for shipment to meat packers and grocery stores where it's added to most ground beef. And it doesn't have to appear on the label because over objections of its own scientists, USDA officials with links to the beef industry labeled pink slime meat. And the undersecretary said it's pink, therefore it's meat. ABC News has learned the woman who made the decision to okay the mix is former Undersecretary of Agriculture Joanne Smith, a call that led to hundreds of millions of dollars for Beef Products, Inc., the makers of pink slime. When Smith stepped down from USDA, BPI's principal supplier appointed her to the board of directors, where she made at least $1.2 million over 17 years. She did not return our calls for comment. BPI says it had nothing to do with her appointment, and the USDA says, while legal then, under current ethics rules, she could not have immediately joined that board. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington. Future generations will look back at the likes of Bill Gates and McDonald's with horror. They'll be astonished that the billionaire and multinational corporation was allowed by the FDA to perform what is essentially a sick and twisted science experiment on the world's population damaging the health of millions of unsuspecting people in the process. Who loves a side order of chemicals? The salads are dusted with propylene glycol to keep them crisp and fresh. This is also used in their sauces, glazes, and hotcakes. Propylene glycol is a less toxic version of ethylene glycol, which is found in antifreeze. Sound appetizing? A common additive used in their food is calcium silicate, which is a white powder primarily used to prevent cement and roof tiles from caking. And what about the chicken? Chicken nuggets. Less than half of a chicken nugget was actually chicken, and the rest was a combination of preservatives like TBHQ. TBHQ has been proven to be unsafe for consumption, with side effects like loss of vision and liver failure. So try not to eat too many of them. With the use of many chemicals, your meal is likely to look the same for years to come. Mold cannot grow. So when the chicken nuggets, burgers, or fries are left out, they completely dry out. But it's been a mystery as to why the buns do not get moldy. This is a little bit concerning when we think about putting this food in our bodies. Three out of ten McDonald's drinks tested positive for fecal contamination in their ice. This would mean about 30 percent of the ice in your drink from McDonald's could have elements of feces in it and can cause a number of diseases. I'm so glad I don't eat this shit but my question is how does feces get inside McDonald's ice? It must be some type of buzz floating around. Are you tempted by the McRib? What you should know is that there are actually no ribs in this sandwich. It takes 80 ingredients to create this sweet, salty, and very fattening sandwich, including a mixture of pork tripe, heart, stomach, water, loads of salt, and sugar. Then isn't that false advertising? It should be called the McBullshit. There have been several lawsuits in the United States and Canada against them for advertising to children. On average, about 20% of McDonald's sales are Happy Meals. By creating an emotional bond with children, they find the key to keep them coming back and associate happy meals with good memories from their childhood. Smart and evil, if you think about it, considering how unhealthy and filled with additives a happy meal is. McDonald's aim their advertising squarely at children and adolescents. 
trying to hook them on their chemical-laden addictive products while they're young and vulnerable, and all in the name of profit over everything else. Here at The People's Voice, we are determined to continue exposing the crimes of the global elite, but we need your help. Subscribe to the channel on Rumble, tell your friends and family about us, and join the People's Voice Locals community for exclusive and uncensored content. We can't do it without you. Today's video is brought to you by IPv6ers. Are you a content creator who wants to publish information online without Big Brother spying and censoring your every move? IPv6ers is set to revolutionize the way information is disseminated on the internet by eliminating the need for big tech companies to provide unreliable, overpriced services such as self-hosting, email, and data management. IPv6ers enables an easy and accessible way for you to host your own web and email server with direct end-to-end -end connections and enhanced security. This means no snooping for Big Brother and no interference from the technocratic elite. If Hillary Clinton can get away with running her own server, why shouldn't you? Go to thepeoplesvoice.tv forward slash IPv6 to sign up or click the link below this video to take back control of the internet and win the info wars against the globalists. If you like our content, help support our sponsor IPv6ers and go to thepeoplesvoice.tv forward slash IPv6 today. Thank you IPv6ers for making this video possible.